They would soon find out, moments later, that we had massacred the others. I had an option there, to leave them, to leave their lives, let them live them. But I knew some of them would grow to hate me, yearn their former years to killing me, finding my friends and murdering them. If I was going to crush my enemies, I'd have to crush them completely. Ah, the art of war. Started taking pot shots like it was nothing. Took him down. Easy. Easy money. Like selling Milky Ways in a subway. Homeless people who just happen to have 50 bucks on it. All right. Um, I'm going to give you all the time to translate that. It's going to get very dark in a moment. But uh, I'm going to swim all the way over there. It's going to get very dark. And I don't seem to mind. The moon is exploded. All right. Whoa. Supernova swimming. <laughs> Either that or I'm farting very, very loudly. Should not have eaten all that mac and cheese. It does wonders for your digestive system. And by wonders, as uh, I mean it burns it and then you die at age 32. Yeah, you can see there was actually, there used to be metal in between my legs. Yeah, now the metal melted off and now it's just charred, charred burnt ass. I never have to shave my ass because it's always melted. Yeah, lovely. Oh, oh, were you here for the beach party too? Oh, I'm sorry, but those plans were canceled. Yeah, canceled by a number of bullets straight to the face. I'm sorry. Big mistake, friend. You're not going to be getting your tickets back either, buddy. Yeah, no yes. refunds in the game of life. Let's get them, John. I, I paid $100. I took off work. Yeah, good thing I missed, you know. Anyone else here to help me, that would be wonderful. I'm getting my face ripped off. There we go. See you later. Have a nice swim. The children don't even know what's going on. Better that way, the bullets will be even less painless. Or more painless. Grenade, make me proud. Huh. Yeah! Holy Jesus! Welcome to Pokemon Island. I wanna be the therapist. Ow. Watch as I die. Oh god, this is not good. Yep. Oh, are we going to make it through this? Thank you. Oh, yeah. add a bullet, add a bullet, add a bullet. It's not good. Real dark, real dark, really dark. Yep. I'm just using those AP bullets like nothing. Excuse me, sir. I don't have time. I don't have time for this, sir. Oh, oh, great. That's my arm. Getting a little bit dark in the wee hours of the night. Holy shit. Whew. Time to get in the house and... Oh, really? Was everything need a key? Ah, who used a stem pack? Whew. Jesus. Good work, people. That was dangerous. Do I seriously need a key for this? Come on. Where are these keys? Am I supposed to find them? Because I'm not gonna find them. Did you just pick up a key? I saw you picking something up. Don't cross your arms. Come on. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know where these keys are supposed to be. Ah, oh, great. And then I got stuck like a gerbil in a hamster wheel. You know, they're for hamsters, not gerbils. That's why they're called hamster wheels. Son of a bitch. Maybe there's a key over here. Oh. Oh, maybe one of the dead guys has it. That would make sense. Castle revolver. The most delicious revolver. Revolver. Whatever. I can't speak English. Whoa. Don't forget to bring your duffel bag with the plunger. I won't. Brotherhood outcast. Don't forget to bring the scotch and the layer. Is 
any of you have a magical key? I really need a magical key. <gasps> Patriot's Cup. Cooling unit. Do we search? We searched her, right? Yeah. No one. No one had. There better be a key in this house. I don't have to go on a quest to find a magic key. So I'm not gonna find it. Unless these keys just are around and I'm just blind, which is very possible. <clears throat> I entered the house cautiously with eight people. Ooh, my. This is where the Legion wrote books, banned books. They'd find bad books and banned books. Not they, they, they'd both they'd both recreate bad and banned books. They didn't know the difference. And then they would uh, then they would recreate them. They would type them out, and then they'd sell them for a hefty for a hefty amount on the black market. It was wonderful. It was a good way to make some money. Who put another skull in the toilet? Really? We take baths in there. No key. Or it's here, but I missed it because keys are tiny and they don't glow and say things like, I'm a key, pick me up, dickbag. Which they should. That would make my life a hundred thousand times easier. Take this drinking glass. Alright, I don't... Ugh. I don't know. I don't know if anyone else has uh, ever found the key for the house or knows where it is. I'd greatly appreciate it if you yelled at me and told me where they are, because that would help me, because I could go <laughs> in these places. All right, um, let's see. Drink some water, because I'm a thirsty little baby. I drink some of the dirty and the clean, because then it becomes medium water. And I'm okay with drinking medium water, you know? But dirty water, that's far too much. Mmm, nice. Oh, I can cook things. Oh, yeah. I sure Shut your... your... I miss Big George sometimes. He was such a great dog. Well, I'm sorry I messed that up and we don't have him now. You know what? Thanks for bringing it up now. Now I feel horrible about, about the whole situation. A big goof. I messed it up. Could have got her dog, but no, I messed it up. Like, big goof I am. Sometimes I fix my chest because sometimes I break it because the name's Chest Breach. You know? It's not just others' chests that I breach, it's my own. Cause sometimes my heart's got to get out there and tell the truth to the world. Alright, I am going to go check some things and see if I can find out how to do this. The dry wells are down there, that's lovely. Maybe we'll check that out, I don't know. We'll be right back. Alright, we're back. Uh, so I went, I came back here. This is where the, uh, this is where the uh, key is. You guys let me know. Um, also, a few you wanted to know... Um, what this weapon was. AER-14 prototype. I think it's the, um, it's, it's Millennia's retexture, uh, thingy. And I also have, um, uh, 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 that laser one that changes. I have no idea what mods I have on. I do not remember. But yeah, I, I know Millennia's weapon retexture is one of them. And that does things and stuff. Bananas. So we're going inside. Hello? Well, this isn't horrifying. Well, actually, it's not that horrifying, actually. Communal terminal. Oh, God. Uh, damn it. User Tony, so this is what we will be calling home from now on. What a dump. Dimension hyper jump. User Tony, looks like the schematics transferred to this terminal should be sufficient to create a dimension hyperjump portal generator. This 
twat who keeps going around claiming to be God is really getting on my tits. Oh, all right. Now he's giving me access to technology that's beyond even my birth time. One of these days, I'm going to find out who re he really is. Building the portal should be a piece of piss. Now we just have to find the parts. Well, Danny and Steve need to find the parts. I have valuable research to do here. And several crates of whiskey that won't drink themselves. Check this out. We're famous, bro. Guys, you got to check this This is from Steve. Guys, you got to check this out. I was playing around with the mainframe tracker, trying to center in on our own reality, and I discovered a dimension where we're all TV stars in our own show. It's really fucking trippy. They have Tony's Tony's drinks and a bit from when Charlie rescued Danny and a shitload of other stuff. I downloaded the whole first script. It was all... Uh, uh, And then he actually wrote a script like we would read it, like someone would sit here and read it, a script for an alternate dimension TV show. And then he wrote five other TV shows about an alternate dimension. Uh, I'm not going to go through every one. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah, about that. Episode guide. The gang gets to know new member Danny. This see, this is much better. The gang that can know new Danny Bamber Bamber by describing how they all came to live in the house and pool their intellects to try and come up with a plan to earn more money. Number three, the gang try and invent new ways to pass the time, including games with dice, sliders, and firearms. Meanwhile, Steve tries to think of ways to impress the girl who works in the local night night petrol station. Ho <laughs> ho! Curry. Steve cooks a curry for everyone with some extra special mushroom ingredients. Meanwhile, Blux, his parents have chosen to pay an impromptu visit. Uh oh! Episode 5. Film. Tony makes a documentary disproving the existence of God, which achieves critical acclaim, and as a result of the drop off in belief, God, belief, God decides to move in with the gang in order to plan his next move. The panel shows. To reprove his own existence. Highlights include the slaughter of a live pig followed by the animal's subsequent resurrection. Whoa! Episode 6. Life! Tony's human synthesis device is completed, with which he can bring his assistant Nova to life. After some persuasion, he agrees to modify the machine to give Matt a new body, with disastrous flesh-eating consequences. Uh-oh! Episode 7. Contract! Steve and Matt's new record actually makes the big time. On the underground rave scene, the duo are offered a contract on a major label, but both have to be present at the signing. Can they turn up on time and give a good impression without accidentally killing anyone? Find out next time. Episode 8. Enemy. Immortals are disappearing all over the world, in many cases turning up inexplicably dead. The best have already fallen. Can the worst figure out who's responsible and stop them in time? Thought of and written by David Lemistra. <laughs> Email djmaestro1 at hotmail.com. Alright. Feel free to email that guy. Say, hey. You were in an Al Chess Breach video, dickbag. Oh, God. You tell him, ball arms. All right. Uh, interesting. Is there anything in here? You guys should have warned me that there was nothing in here. Oh, God. I was hoping for adventure and excitement, but now I just own another house. Come, come on. Come on, dude. Come on. I mean, it's a pretty cool house, but... Environment analysis. Local environment seems to consist mainly of penis and penis and penis. I have analyzed the penis. Um, local environment seems to consist mainly of sand and stone. Some radiation permeates the area, but for the most part of the air filter checks come back clearer here than back home. Then again, that may have just been due to our old house general background smell by seeing the results. Nonetheless, the whole area is filled with mutants and homicidal maniacs which for an entertaining atmosphere. Strangely enough, when I tried to analyze one of the local mu mutants' DNA under one of my own portable microscopes, it appeared to become more and more pixelated as I zoomed in, like it was a computer-generated image. And the same happened with sand, whiskey, a printed photo, and even my own knee. However, after checking again with locally salvaged equipment, I was able to form a full autopsy and analysis on another local mutant with no more problems. It turned out just to be a really big scorpion. I'll have to recheck the calibration of my personal equipment when I get back home. Much of the local area seems to resemble Las Vegas from our own reality, but a much smaller scale. Looked like it would be fun here at first, but it turns out there's no point gambling unless I want to take home a stash of worthless bottle caps. 
The strangest thing is we seem to be trapped here. I discovered some kind of invisible wall high up on a cliff face that seems to be totally impenetrable. Those sons of bitches. I had Danny, Danny check out a few other locations to be sure, and from the look of it, we are boxing some kind of huge valley. How this happened or why, I have yet to establish. There's little of, of value about, about though, Danny. There's little of value about though Danny managed to salvage a decent-sized ship's engine to remind me of home. Right now, I just want to get out of here and back to my own world in Nova. Mood pop re recipes. So they're interdimensional, magical, tr time-traveling wizards. Cool. Be cool if like we could accidentally get sent to another dimension I mean obviously it'd be a very small area but that would be cool there Jesus happy birthday Charlie, you and your angels. Message from Jeebus. It's too dangerous to leave you all back home right now, so I have arranged for you to be transported to an alternate reality where you should be safe for the time being. I'm only doing this because I owe you one. Otherwise, normally you would have to fend for yourselves. I don't own the god rights to this reality, and in order to persuade its creator to let me add you in, I had to give away editing privileges for Canada. On top of that, the owner wants you to perform several sacred tasks. You know the deal. Typical salvation, redemption, BS. I'll radio through with further details on the portable radio once you have all got settled. Anyway, I hope you have a lot of fun here. I might even drop by when I'm finished with this bat pig project. See what I'm against in this year's top diety award. See ya. Jeebus. Mission log. Rescue a powder ganger. Get a generator valve to Nellis. Stop the NCR from creating a forward camp at Hidden Valley. Rescue a powder ganger. Oh, man. This fucking story. Fucking read it. Fucking shit. All right. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Looks like wants to stay a while. I think she's made some friends in that underground place we visited and has chosen to stick around and try to talk her out of it, but she was adamant anyway. It sounds like Tony has the mention portal set up so she can come home at any point. I'll miss her, though. If you ever come back and read this, please know that despite retching at almost all our physical contact, like I know you do with everyone, and despite all the times I yelled at you for eating everything in sight, I have to say you were the only one I ever really liked. And I guess that makes you my best friend. Please come home soon. It's going to be hell without you back here. I have no idea what's going on. Okay. Don't mind if I do. That, is that, um, that's it. Oakley dokely. Well, son of a dog. Son of a dog. Nope, didn't want to do that, but sure. Oh. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna go check what I can do and stuff. Alright, so I guess we'll do some bounties. Uh... Yeah, I guess we'll just do some bounties. Uh, headed on down the Yangtze Memorial. I didn't want to kind of just blow right in there, but we're going to do it anyhow. We're going to blow right in there. It's going to be great. Happy birthday, Captain Crunch. And is that him? No, that's, that's a tarantula. Sorry, buddy. I'm going to have to take some of those legs from you. Can't be letting you have that many legs, you know. Oh, it's the magic sword. Melee, 75.
don't know the name of the magazine. Give me a break. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's none of these things that I have. I don't have the magazine needed in order to pick up the sword. And even if I did, I'd pick up my squid and throw them across the floor. Really? I don't. I don't. All right. Can so, Jerry? Jerry, you can you can pick this up. Ball arms, you can't pick it up. You're a robot. Your hands can't get on that. Look, I know it's magical and everything, but it's not gonna work. We'll come back later. Again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm just Elvis now. This looks like a job from Mr. Pistol. Oh, he is in there. There you go. Slap that baby to death. Do I have any regular? No. Yeah, I'll do AP, whatever. Mwah, mwah. Mwah, mwah. Ready to die for your country. 